This is the Smith & Wesson MMP-12. Is it a direct copy of the Caltech KSG? Is it a completely new design? Is it a prop from Starship Troopers? Let's find out. By now, you guys have all seen our signature blend with blackout coffee called Tenacity. This is a low acidity, high flavor, high caffeine. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. It's got a little extra jolt of caffeine in there. This is a great, great roast for you guys that love good coffee without all that acid. Blackout now also has stuff from GOA and FPC. This is a great option if you want to support those two different groups. Any of those blends will do you good. Anything from Blackout is good. There's a link in the description to get you a discount. They're always running sales. Check the link. Go use our code. It's going to be awesome. Check out Tenacity or the Pro Gun Blends. That's what I'm calling them. That's not what they call them. We would really appreciate it if you guys supported them because they support us and that enables us to keep making videos for you guys. You know what the best part of waking up is? Is blackout coffee in your cup. Yeah, I stole that. Welcome back to the Gun Collective. My name is Ben and today we are taking a look at the Smith & Wesson MMP-12. The downfall of shotguns has always been their capacity. 12 gauge is a very large round and trying to fit a lot of them into a practical sized firearm has proved to be a challenge for a very long time. Do you extend the magazine tube? Do you use a detachable box mag, drums, rotating tubes? Smith & Wesson riding on the coattails of kel have opted to go with the Bullpup dual magazine tubes in their 12 gauge addition to the MMP series. This gun is a pump action and each mag will hold seven rounds of two and three quarter inch shells or six rounds of three inch. Yes, it's chambered for three inch. It has a 19 inch barrel and an overall length of just under 28 inches. The gun weighs in at about eight and a quarter pounds, and it comes with four interchangeable palm swell grips. Because MMP series. Whatever. Uh, it also has an ambidextrous AR style safety. So we took the gun out to the range and fired it a few times. The experience was a little bit strange. The gun's about four inches wide, so shouldering it made it feel like you're playing Halo or like in some kind of sci-fi movie. Uh, this is definitely a space gun. Hang on, I'm getting uh, too much glare. <laughs> much better. Firing. When Smith comes out with their first energy weapon or plasma rifle, they've got a perfect chassis for it. The gun was super awkward to load. There's lots of sharp stuff in the ejection port that you catch your thumbs on. It was just generally uncomfortable and tedious. I know this is marketed as a home defense shotgun, and in theory, if 15 rounds doesn't do it, you're screwed. But I really don't see people counting rounds at two o'clock while engaging multiple shooters at seven yards in the dark. So, I mean, I guess with training, you could probably get to that ergonomic selector. But in general, like click is not really a good option. Certainly not going to be loading this under duress. No, this is a load once and go into the fight and then toss it away for something else. <laughs> I do still see it as superior to the KSG, and I also like the AR style Ambi Lefty selector for the safety. It's definitely an improvement, but as far as the pump is concerned, I actually like the original KSG better. That vertical foregrip just really gets in the way and you really have to totally remove it to solve that problem. There's no working around it. The loading assist buttons didn't really add much either. They made it a lot easier to unload the gun so you weren't just pumping like a madman. But other than that, it's still difficult to load. Anyway, let's look at the shooting. We brought along a few clays to shoot because shooting paper targets really, really gets old when all you have is birdshot. So that was also my first time shooting clays out of the air and it really showed. I realized the gun isn't meant for it, but we still had a lot of fun and it added some variety for the video.
Send it. Keeping with the range toy theme, we also acquired rem choke adapters and slapped on the Salvo 12. I gotta say the compact nature of a bullpup shotgun makes the Salvo 12 at least somewhat practical, but it throws the balance of the MMP way too far forward and it makes it a hell of a lot heavier when it's fully loaded. That is definitely something that you would really wanna train with before you load up both tubes, otherwise you're gonna get very tired. All right, first, I don't know if you call that a mag dump, but what do you think? Look at that smoke coming out of there. I think I'm tired. This thing is, with the salvo on it, it's heavy, so um, it's kind of hard to just keep pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping. Like, I wouldn't want to do a dual mag dump through this multiple times. But then again, you have a nice long break to reload because it takes like 10 minutes to reload. Okay, so... Here we go, first rounds. Is there one in the chamber? Yeah. Let's see. Loaded chamber indicator. It's tactile. I feel that there's one in the chamber. Oh. Let's see how this... The new age BS. Let's see how this goes. Okay, first of all, wow, that's heavy with the can on there. We really need to try it without the can because I feel like it would be way more maneuverable and probably a little bit more fun to shoot, but it is nice to have that recoil absorption and sound mitigation. But overall, it, it, uh, it feels very plasticky, very clunky, like everything's kind of loosey-goosey. I mean, that's not horrible for a shotgun. Sometimes you need that, but I mean, shoot's okay. The recoil impulse wasn't bad. Keep going. Does it feel significantly different without the uh, salvo on there? Yeah, uh, I, I'm not as tired holding it out in front of me. It's a lot lighter now. It's still heavy, but it's a lot lighter than it was with the salvo on it. For random side note, a lot of people complained the KSG would eject shells downward against the shooter's wrist and uh, even cause a little bit of bleeding. I gotta say, that wasn't a problem for me with my KSG, and I also did not notice that with the MMP-12. We do have a little bit of footage to show you what our experience was with that. Woo! That hits a hell of a lot harder. I think that was the hypersonic. It's like waterfowl loads. <laughs> Okay. So you got a variety there. Definitely a big difference in perceived recoil. <laughs> it's uh, you mean you could hear it. The yeah, those those two waterfowl loads at the end of the uh, first mag were, uh, yeah, I wasn't ready for them because I was so used to shooting the lighter stuff. It could have been tighter into my shoulder. Ow. Um, but it, and then there was another one in the second tube that I felt as well. It was well. buck. You could, yeah, you felt the difference, but. All manageable. It's a nice heavy gun, so it doesn't really jump around that much when you do that. Uh, we've got a variety here. We're gonna see how it feels. See how it feels to run it. I don't know. Let's have some fun. None of that was too abusive. The uh, the shade here is a little loosey goosey, but overall, it's it's running really really well. I haven't had any issues, probably because of this foregrip, uh, short stroking it, and it's not like abusive. I think it'd be a lot of fun. It's it's not it's not too heavy because of the bullpup design. Moving it back is 
you know, everybody knows about bolt ups, but yeah, it's not too bad. I like the AR-15 controls. I like that a lot. And I think a lot of the controls are in a better place than other options. Like I don't like back here inside the action that you have to flip around. I like it just like boom, boom over the top. That's cool. It's fun to shoot. Let's keep going. So in summary, I gotta say that I'm not the biggest fan. The gun works fine, but it's the last gun that I'm gonna be reaching for in a home defense situation. This gun is a range toy for me. You can wow a new shooter, you can load up both tubes, you can let them run through it, and then you just get back to the actual serious shit. That's about all I would use this for. You can call me a FUD, and that's okay, but that's what I'm gonna use it for. Anyway guys, enjoy the montage, and we'll see you next time. He's too close for slugs. I'm switching to Buck. <laughs> Smells like burning paper. Yep, that's cancer. <laughs>